Hello everyone, it's Chris again. This is the second video in the Debian web server tutorial series and in this video I'll just be showing you how you can set your machine to use a static IP address. Obviously if this is going to be connected to the real world you don't really want this on a dynamic IP address where it can suddenly change and while wow, your server is not working I wonder why. So it, it's again it's quite easy and I might as well get started with it. So, the first thing you want to do is you will be need to, uh, need to be logged in as root or at least a sh uh, switch user to that anyway. So the first thing you need to do is nano, or you can use v if you'd like, or any other text editor you'd like to use. But I tend to use nano. Um, nano etc network, and then interfaces. So in this file, um, you'll see that there is the local uh, loopback network interface here. You need to leave this as it is, however these two here can be deleted because we aren't using DHCP and we're going to use a static IP address. So what you'll need to do to delete these is you can either hold on the delete key or um, one thing that you can do which is a lot faster way of doing it is if you hold down control K and it deletes one line at a time it's incredibly useful and I didn't realize you could do it until about a month of deleting loads and loads which took a long time to do <laughs> so uh, what you need to do is you need to type in auto ether and then I face eth zero inet static and all this is doing is saying it'll automatically enable the ethernet adapter and set it, set it using a static IP address and then underneath uh, we're going to tell it which address we'd like to use so what you need to do is you need to type in address helps if you spell address right as well and you'll notice yourself spell a lot of things wrong but anyway so uh, the first thing we need to do is find out a network which currently works on your network so um or an IP address which works on your network. You should know what your IP address is. If you don't and you know you've already got an internet connection on your server because of DHCP, then you can actually um actually I'll cancel that and I'll save it for now. If you'd like to find out what your current IP address on the machine is, you can type in if config and you can see that the current IP address on this machine is 10.0.0.29. Um, the subnet mask is uh, 255.255.255.0 and I don't know if it says on here but the um, the gateway address is 10.0.0.1 so if you'd like to find a free IP address in that network configuration and we will be using that here so if you go back down to the bottom and where it says address you type in the address you'd like to give it. So for me, I'm going to be typing in 10.0.0.14. The network, uh, then we need to type in the subnet mask. And the way we do that is we need to tell it to, this is going to be a subnet mask. So we type in net mask, followed by the subnet mask. So that's 255.255.255.0 and the gateway is basically where it sends the traffic to so that is my router which is on 10.0.0.1 and once you've done that you can control O and enter to save it and then control X the next thing we're going to be doing is adding some name servers for it to use so this is where it's going to look for well a DNS server basically so say for example you want to go to Facebook it needs to translate that into an IP address so it knows where to send the information so what it does is it looks for a name server it'll find out what the IP address of that machine is and then it'll send the data that way so the way we do this is we open um, up a file called resolve.conf and to do that we type in nano God. Nano etc resolve dot 
conf and that is the location of the file and once you've done that you should see your router's IP address in there already this is just what it's already got for the last time it connected to the network so if you'd like to delete that line obviously if you'd like to already use your router as the name server then you can do by all means if not then you can type in name server space and then the IP address of the name server. So I'm just going to be setting up Google as my name server. So their DNS is 8.8.8.8 and then the I'm going to do an alternative one as well for the alternative DNS server. So that's name server again followed by 8.8.4.4 and then just in case them two fail I'm going to be using my routers which is 10.0.0.1 once you've done that you can control O to save it and control X so the next thing we need to do is basically restart our network adapter so that the changes can sort of work and um, if you do if config now you'll see that it's still using the old address so the way we need to do this is if we type in if up or if down sorry and then eth zero so this is going to bring down your ethernet adapter so once you've done that you can click enter and if you try to do if config now you'll see that it doesn't have an ethernet adapter working at present so what we need to do now is bring it back up so we type in if up and then eth0 and if we do if config now you'll see that it's got the right IP address so just to make sure this works I'm just going to ping a website just to make sure it works so to do that we type in ping and then casdev.net for example and there we are we know that it's got the internet and it works so to cancel that or to stop that running you do control C so there you are you have a static IP address on your server so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.